Elephants in northern West Bengal cross the Mechi River and seasonally migrate between India and Nepal. But what happens when there's a barrier on the border? It leads to problems for the region's elephants, which means problems for humans too. It's natural for Asiatic elephants to traverse long distances in search of food and water. The large mammals step out of forest patches, national parks and sanctuaries and journey across human habitats and farmlands, foraging along the way. Oblivious to political boundaries, they stride through villages, states and even countries. In North Bengal, elephant herds from the Terai and Duars landscape in the foothills of the Himalayas move towards the Indo-Nepal border. They use the Mahananda Kolabari Corridor, a path between the Mahananda Wildlife Sanctuary in India and the Kolabari Reserve Forest close to the border. And then, they head towards the forests of Japa in East Nepal. Their quest is mainly for paddy and maize crops. But in 2016, troubled by elephants entering villages and raiding crops, Nepal's authorities built an 18-kilometer-long solar-powered fence along the Indo-Nepal border, blocking the cherished elephant passage. The result? Any elephant that touches the fence receives a jolt, pushing it back to the Indian side. While a few solitary bulls struggle and cross over, female elephants and calves are often left behind. The confused elephants wander along the fence and enter other villages, increasing conflicts within the Indian border. But human elephant conflict is not a recent matter in northern West Bengal. Natural habitats were heavily fragmented by tea plantations, farms, human settlements, and infrastructure projects. Space for elephants shrunk, and this led to more interactions with humans. Elephants are often killed in collisions on road and rail tracks or by violent human encounters. Communities, often vulnerable farmers, also suffer due to loss of crops, property and lives. Asian elephants have even evolved their foraging strategies to raid crops such as paddy and maize during specific times of the year. A nutritious and tasty meal, but a high risk for high gain. The barrier on the Indo-Nepal border is a short-term solution to reduce such raids, but an unsustainable one. The Rite of Passage report by the Wildlife Trust of India states that the Mahananda Kolabari Elephant Corridor is no longer suitable to be considered a corridor. In 2016, the West Bengal government urged the central government to take up the human-elephant conflict issue along the Indo-Nepal border with the Nepal government. But progress is still awaited. India, Nepal and Bhutan witnessed the transboundary movement of several wild animals. In a formal dialogue between the three countries, organized by the International Centre for Integrated Mountain Development in December 2018, the barrier problem was discussed. One is to understand actually you know, what intensity uh, of these uh, you know, impacts are there. So those fact findings, science-based uh, you know, documentation was one uh, suggestion that was uh, suggested under the guidance of a uh, task force between uh, you know, two countries. Because of this uh, pre uh, prevailing situation, we have not been able to advance, but that is in our card. The second is, uh, you know, obviously, there are some good practices in terms of restricting you know, elephant uh, not to enter the, uh, enter the village. So we are trying to find out what could be the best applicable you know, means of mitigation uh, that is uh, useful for North Bengal. The third one is uh, definitely, you know, we also need to know that if there is any you know, local adaptation being uh, done by local communities you know, in terms of uh, uh, changing the cropping pattern, changing the crop species, if th uh, those are effective, then obviously that suggestion also could be, you know, shared with the local communities who are actually, you know, being impacted by uh, this migration. While the situation has gathered some attention, elephants and humans continue to be at risk on the ground. Pradeep Vyas, a senior retired forest officer, highlighted the issue as an economic one for local communities. In an interview with Mongabe India, he said, there has to be a ground-level dialogue. Movement of elephants and damages should be discussed. 
If those losses are compensated adequately, then the local communities will be more approachable for interventions. Only words will not solve the problem. In February 2020, the Convention on Migratory Species accepted the Asian elephant as an endangered migratory species. Most of the world's Asian elephants are in India. Around 80% of their range in India falls outside the country's protected area network. While the species gets the highest degree of legal protection in India, the habitats it uses are under severe threat. Managing elephant habitats and corridors are critical to their survival.